Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So, Malika Andrews finally responded yesterday to the uproar that's been going online for the past couple of days. Shout out to everybody that's been saying things all over the social all over social media. So Malika Andrews put out a statement yesterday and her response seemed very bland. She spoke about it very briefly and people were saying she didn't have that she doesn't have that same energy as when she gives other athletes, even athletes who are even who aren't even a suspect of a crime. So Kwame Brown responded to Malika Andrews and give me one moment while I play his response. Man, Malika, Malika. I said, Malika, Malika. <laughs> hey, boo boo, you should have stayed quiet. You should have said nothing. You should have did what Stephen A, what Shannon Sharp, and the rest of the quiet. They call it taking the high road. You know, because they say I, I'm always ranting. That's their new word to validate me. I'm no longer a bus. They don't use that word. They say I'm ranting and I curse. <laughs> you should have stayed quiet, Malika, Malika. Because Miss Malika, yeah, right? When you spoke about, when you spoke about all the other black players, when you got backlash from talking about that young brother doing the draft. And his shining moment, you brought up a situation. This ain't have nothing to do with this young man. He wasn't he wasn't guilty of anything. And, but yet and still, you brought that up during his draft moment. And guess what you said happened? Guess why you said you did it, ma'am? You said, I did it because I was doing my job. The bosses told me to do it remember you said that and remember when i first came to the internet i said y'all some script reading i won't say that because you're a female and i don't want them to think i'm saying that because you're a female but i said that y'all are some script reading b-words and i was talking to men but y'all are some script reading people so Basically, you prove what I said to be right. That you don't have a voice. You don't have it. You get told what to say. You get told an objective to talk about. So then I have to ask your bosses. Why are they so quick to talk about a black man's allegations? And why is Josh Giddy? Not on the docket to be talked about. Why don't good enough to be talked about? Why are y'all getting so giddy when it come to Josh Giddy? Woo, that's a bar. Put it in a song, baby. I'm on top right now. Everything that I've been saying for the last three years have been playing out. They attacked Kyrie over uh, putting up a feed. Sharing a link. He was held to task. The pretty woman like Malika Andrews and the rest of these women, and they'll get up there, and they'll talk passionate about it. And yes, black women been through some things. They probably had a boyfriend or two that wasn't shh. And some of them rightfully so. But for some reason, in my humble opinion, they got black women thinking they're a monolith. So they go out and they trigger black women based on their past, and they have them thinking that this is something for women. And so they're canceling their men. Such black men up under so much scrutiny, Malika Andrews. Stephen A., you bald head scallywag, where were you? And Malika, you, and you shouldn't have said nothing, Malika. You shouldn't have said nothing, Malika, because guess what? I detailed out how y'all do it and the way y'all gonna do it. I detailed it out, Malika. I said statement and leave it alone. And you went up there and read a monotone statement, ma'am. And you left it alone. It's a shame I'm so right. 
Because in every other situation, when Kendrick Perkins or anybody tried to talk up for M.A. Doka or any situation, you was frowning up like you were ready to jump through the screen at that doggone. You're not just doing your job. You're up there to make it look like you're fighting for black women's rights while you with a man. Now, in my black community, that is a damnation for a black man to be with a white woman. We can't even speak up for the black community if we were a white woman. Why is it that we so forgiving to the black woman, especially a half black woman, that we got so many rules on the black man and what we make it black and what we define as black, but this woman that's laying with this boy all day that's getting a script from a media to talk about black men, this is who we gonna follow? Then shame on us and we deserve what we get. All right, so I just played that part where Kwame Brown going in on Malika Andrews and Stephen A. Smith. Now, listen to Stephen A. Smith's response to all the pressure he's been getting online. who have been clamoring for me to touch on this subject. Y'all getting on my last damn nerves. Could you try to be responsible? Could you try? That's all I'm asking. What you want Stephen A. to say? Oh, man, when you ask Stephen A, if this was a brother, wait a minute, wait a minute. If it was a brother, I would have treated it with the same level of sensitivity. This man, Josh Giddy, is currently being investigated by the National Basketball Association, the NBA, over allegations. We don't know who she was. We don't know how old she was. He's 21. We don't know how old she is. We don't know anything. We know there's an investigation going on. That's all we know. We don't know anything else. You know why Stephen A. hasn't said anything? Because you could get sued, idiots. You don't just go out there running your damn mouth over something this serious. Something, a, a, a fight that took place on a basketball court? Sure. Allegations where the alleged victim is identified? Sure. Where the specification of the crime is illuminated? Sure. But this clamoring to comment about something with no information, no definitive facts, you can't do it. You can do it on social media with your troll ass selves. You can do it then because you don't have any real accountability. But why don't you try using your social media accounts and going to Josh Giddy and flat out accusing him and stating it as a point of fact. Make sure you give him your name and address too. Because he probably could sue you. You have to wait and see. All right, so here's the thing. Stephen A. Smith just went in on on Kevin Porter Jr. And now Kevin Porter Jr.'s girlfriend came out and said that it was totally, what the DA did was totally false. And remember they said she had a, she fractured her neck, but then, then they said she was born like that and She's coming out to his defense. So if that's the case, Stephen A., you're going to be sued by Kevin Porter Jr. because you said he needs to be in jail. And, then, and that he shouldn't be playing in the NBA right now. And they should come up with a rule to where he don't play basketball. So you had that for Kevin Porter Jr., but you don't have that for Josh Giddy. Tell me what y'all think about all this.